wasn't a perfect day by any manner of means. Anyway, I also finally got my two bucket dipper, or what would you call it, dripper tracker in order. So here it is, and I'll show you basically how it works. I haven't got 100% done, because I never do anything 100%. Anyway, down here I'm trying to do panning. I have a wheel, and one side of the wheel is attached to um, a string. It's a cord from a strimmer that I got really cheap. I got the string, a string, not the string, a strimmer. Anyway, it goes down into this thing, in this bucket. So it's a bucket in a bucket, and it's got water in it, and I'm not sure what weight it is, but it's. Um, it's not super super light. At the bottom I have this. Now this actually sends water into the bucket, not out of it. And the water comes in from this tube here. But anyway I'll explain how the water comes out of the top bucket. So the top bucket also is attached to the wheel on the other side with the strimmer string. So the string goes up through this little um, hook, another little hook, and finally hook number three, and it's attached to the top bucket. And then what happens for tracking is first you set up, aim at the sun, and uh, what happens for tracking is water comes out through this and it comes around in a loop it doesn't have to come in a loop but I didn't have uh, I didn't have anything to uh, close off the valve so um, I just um, yeah, yeah I won't explain that anyway here there is a container a margarine container and it's got uh, I can't even remember what this is from. Anyway, it fits pretty nicely on the inside of the pipe and it blocks it off. When the, the, when the, the container gets full, it touches the pipe and blocks it off at the bottom. When it, uh, if you move it, see the water flowing out? So it's pretty good at stopping off the pipe and it works like a, a ball cock in, um, in a cistern. So this means that this level here is the same virtually all the time. And then the exit from this comes down to here. And this is the dripper. Now, I, you could do this. You don't have to have one of these little gadgets. I don't know where I got it even. But as you can see, it's dripping fairly fast. If you put it down lower, it drips faster. If you pull it up, it drips slower. So it's quite a lot slower here. So what I do uh, to figure out uh, the right flow, I know what the right flow is. The right flow is 26 cc's per minute. So I put this under here uh, for a minute, uh, or sorry, yeah, for a minute. This container is a 29 cc container and I've previously done this so it's like the people in the kitchens you know I've already cooked this so this will fill in uh, a minute or sorry uh, just over a minute and uh, so all I did was first I put it down here at this and checked it and it was filling uh, fast so I raised it up and raised it up until it was filling in just uh, just over a minute and then this pipe was down here level with the top of the bucket I raised this up to where where it was going to fit and then I just stuck that in there like that so um, to, um, that means that we have the water moving um, hopefully uh, very precisely at 26 cc's per minute 
and the water is flowing down and filling this up and this raises this inner bucket and takes the te tension off the string and I'll have to show you what happens when it does that I hope you can see that tension off, tension off so as the tension is going uh, off that string tension is coming on this string because this bucket in the top is going down and this is what keeps it keeps it very steady it keeps the um, the reflector very steady and it wasn't like the first video I took where it was uh, going back and forth in the wind it was steady as heck so anyway um, also what you can do you might find that over the course of the day that this is slightly slower slightly fast so what you do move this the tiniest bit up or the tiniest bit down and over the course of the first day you'll find the perfect spot and um, you should have I'm not sure how reliable how accurate your tracking will be but it should be uh, hopefully it'll be not, not too different from say quarter of an hour wrong in a day I'm hoping but um, that uh, that depends on the experiments